For the last 11 years, we've welcomed the winner of the John Reed Leadership Award to the Sports Report here in the TV44 studios for an interview and a presentation of the award. But like many things, the events of this year have caused changes to business as usual. What hasn't changed is our commitment to celebrating the virtues we believe were personified in John Reed. Humility, discipline, passion, leadership, pursuit of excellence, and many others. I was able to spend a couple of minutes with this year's recipient of the John Reed Leadership Award and for Chad Williams, assistant coach at New Bremen. It was an award made more meaningful by knowing the award's namesake in person. Here's my interview with this year's winner, Chad Williams. And with us tonight on the Sports Report, the 11th winner of the John Reed Leadership Award, New Bremen defensive coordinator, assistant coach, high school math teacher, and assistant or a co-head track coach, Chad Williams. Uh, Chad, a, a man of many hats, thank you for making the time to uh, join us tonight. Thank you. I appreciate it, and I'm greatly honored. We are uh, certainly honored to be able to present you with this award. So you, you found out about a month ago that you won the award. So take us back when you heard that you won. Uh, I understand it was John Zerby who told you that you had won the award this year. What, what was your reaction? What went through your, when your mind when you found out? Yeah, um, when he stopped at the school to tell me, you know, um, of all the people that I really knew well when I was starting out Crestview's program, John Reed was that guy. Um, we scrimmaged cold water on a yearly basis. And, uh, you know, when I went through some coaching changes at New Bremen with some things that I went through there, John was one of the first guys I called to talk to. And uh, he, you know, how John is, he automatically went right to scripture and really helped me in that point in time get through some of that. Um, and so it was just such a huge honor to, to have an award that's named after him. What does it mean to you personally? Because you, you interacted with John and of course you, you knew John Reed. You know, what did it mean to you that you now have an award that bears his namesake on it? Well, you know, like I said, I mean, he just, he held himself in such high regards and, and everybody, I, I've never heard anybody say anything bad about John Reed and he's just that type of person. So, so to be mentioned in the same sentence, sentence with him is an honor, um, let alone to have an award that has his name on it. And, and now you're attached to that forever. You're involved in FCA at New Bremen. Talk a little bit about um, FCA in New Bremen, how that got uh, started, how it continues to grow, even in kind of the situation we find ourselves in with school being on and off and a lot of remote. How have you kind of navigated those waters? Yeah, we're pretty fortunate um, having the huge auditorium that we have that we can have meetings yet during our CPT during the day and spread kids out. Um, about eight years ago, I think now is what we're on. Uh, Andy Lynch came to the school and said, hey, we're really trying to get this FC th FCA thing going would you be willing to do it? And Gary Jones came to me, he was the athletic director at the time, said, would you be willing to take it over? And in those first couple of years, we'd have four or five kids show up and then eventually that went to 15 to 20. And this year at most of our meetings, we're getting about 60 kids in our auditorium that come. Um, we go every first and third Wednesday of the month in our auditorium, we have guest speakers or uh, we have a couple of local people that have gotten involved and sometimes they'll be our presenters and things like that. How has the balance been between maintaining a, a, a certain level of, that's not necessarily integrity, but also maintaining that and making sure that all of the, uh, the spiritual Christian things that you're involved in, like FCA, stuff like that, uh, maintains a high standard and also still able to speak into excellence on the football field at the same time. Yeah, and you know, um, you mentioned Chris and obviously um, having worked with him for six years now, he's embraced that part of this too. Um, and we pray before and after every game, you know, I, if you've been to a new Bremen game, you will see us take a knee afterwards. And, and we know that it's, uh, you know, we, we were healthy this year. We didn't have injuries. We got through the COVID thing. So there's a lot more to it than that. Um, in addition to that, with all that being said, we still had uh, Bible studies um, every morning. And, and that was a football thing. A uh, local pastor here in town, James Lampert, who's helped me with FCA and been involved, he would come in uh, once uh, every Thursday during the football season. And obviously this year, maybe we couldn't do that because of the COVID, but up until this year, he would come in and he would lead a series um, either through video or through Bible. One year he did Men of the Bible. One year he did uh, a Francis Chan 
um, through Right Now Media. So, so a lot of different things. And, and Chris always embraced all that, would support it, would announce it at our end of practices. This is tomorrow. So when people mention your name, what would you like them to remember you by when, whenever, whenever that time comes, whenever you retire or step down as coach or whatever the future holds, when they think of Chad Williams, what would you like them to think of? Well, I think you mentioned the word integrity before, you know, I want them to think that um, the things that I stand for, I actually followed through on um, that. I didn't just tell these kids, Hey, you can't do this. You can't do that. And then they'd see me out doing the same things that I'm trying to tell them are bad for them or not good for them. Um, you know, obviously as an FCA leader and as a coach, I feel like they got to have role models that you can see are truly living the life that they're saying they're living. So that's what I would want them to see. Integrity desperately needed in seeing leaders and Chad Williams. We are uh, proud to recognize you as certainly one of those, the 11th winner of the John Reed Leadership Award. We'll, we'll get this out to you at some point. We'll wipe it down and, <laughs> and send it your way. But uh, Chad Williams, New Bremen defensive coordinator, first of our congratulations on excellent season. Congratulations on winning the award and uh, best wishes to you on the rest of this school year, Chad. Thank you again. It is a huge honor and I really appreciate it.